Normally, we'd flip the dog over and do a left-sided view, but you don't have to. What you can do is use your fingers to just collapse the lung, right? And if you have pericardial effusion, you're in a monster window anyway. But the key is you want to look in that right auricle, which is where most of those live, and just use my fingers here to collapse the lung and drop the probe right on top. And that's my right auricle right there. It's a tricuspid valve, right atrium and right auricle. This is where the tumors live most of the time. Mm -hmm. So if you have pericardial fusion here, this would all be pericardial fusion, you'd be pointing right towards the right auricle. And this is where I actually tap the pericardium from this view. And I point towards the right auricle because that's where the last amount of blood is going to be pooling. Mm -hmm. I see I got lung artifact here coming in, I get a hazy image, so what I do is I take my, my last two fingers, my ring finger and my pinky finger, and I just push down on the lung, stay sternal, and the dog's barely feeling the probe, he's feeling my fingers, and I just create my own window. And stay sternal. And stay sternal, and again, if this were a pericardial fusion dog, you wouldn't even have to do that, because your window would be monstrous. If you get, you get lung in the way, push down with your fingers, and stay sternal. There you go. You can just change angles, right? Right. Change angles a little bit, keep the pressure down, collapse that lung. Beautiful. So this is all right atrium, right auricle here, tricuspids coming in and this out. This is the right auricle. This is the right auricle. So your tumors are usually going to be right there. Beautiful shot right there.